Hey everyone, we made it. It was the longest flight ever. And we got a bit of a problem. We got a few terror birds and a carno down there. So, we're gonna have to fix this. Uh, drop the horse over this way. And we are gonna have to take these guys out. Can't have. No, uh, let's drill. Oh, you're already on us. Let's do it. Come on! Oh, you missed him. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Terror birds are actually pretty fun. I might tame a few over here. Adjust my sound too. I think I got the game a little too loud. You will see. So, let's see. Alright, you can stop following me now, there, buddy. Thanks. Take the rest of these guys out. sound normal, like real bassy and odd. I definitely have some adjustments I need to make. Come here, what are you doing? Come here, come here. And gotcha. Land here. Wait, what? What's going on? Stop. Take out this carno over here, see what level it is. Hmm. I'm gonna use the horse. I'm gonna knock that fool out. That's what I'm gonna do. Alright, let's pump uh, a little bit of stamina there. I want to wait. Here's all the stuff we brought with us so that we can. Uh, I got 12 uh, triangle foundations and 12 square foundations so we can get started with this. I don't have a saddle on this guy, so this might be a horrible idea. We, got, we only have 1,700 health, and I'm already hurt. Yeah. All oh, just prancing about. So, change of plans. Who's the RG? And I just picked up that poop that bounced off the ground. Come on. I grabbed a couple supply drops on the way over here, and was able to get another blueprint. Or a opera saddle, which I will probably never use. But long term, I might wind up taming one. Never know. Come on, what you got? These guys need some TLC. Like they need a release of the, a lot of these dinos, a lot of the old ones. They just they seem so weak. Like, there's no benefit to having a Carno. Like, you can't use it for anything. It may, like a lower early or early game uh, meat farmer, but that's about it. Uh, it's not even that good at doing that. But hang on one second. I'm going to check on my sound. Uh, and I will be right back. Okay, and we're back. Yeah, I, I had to turn the in-game, well, the, the game recording volume down on OBS. Um, I'm, something's just really funky with the way... I gotta look at like the codec or something, but whenever I replay the videos after recording them in OBS, they just don't sound. They sound like they're under. Like they're. I don't know, a speaker inside of a fish tank, I guess would be the best way to describe it. But. I'm gonna scout out the area again. Make sure we're clear. This is a large, large area that we have here to work with, so. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to have to put a bunch of foundations down inside the the border because we're going to have things spawning up here. Obviously, Carno spawn here, Terra Bird spawn here. I mean, we don't have RGs are here. So we're going to have to have some defenses. I'm a little worried about logging off because I'm not going to be able to finish a base that's going to be able to house my dinos. And I'm not using the Dino Storage mod. So... Unless I 
do some serious grinding and make some uh, cryopods because you can actually use the supply drops now to make cryopods. Which, I don't know if that was a good idea. I mean, it makes the game definitely easier. For sure, but... I don't know... They're making a lot of things a little too easy. Where do we want to start this thing? Let's fly up a bit. And look down. I don't know if I want to put it right in the middle or not. Or towards the back. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and go right in the middle. Might as well. So, let's go back down here on the ground. Let's get some of this stuff out the way. And we will start laying down our foundations. I like to uh, do a certain... So, before they added the S Plus thing, uh, it was around... Anyway, around the time when uh, Conan came out. Conan Exiles. I keep... Whenever I talk about Conan, I always call it Asia Conan, which was like their the game they made years ago. It's uh, an MMO. And it was like absolutely just the worst thing ever. It was a terrible, terrible game. But... Conan Exiles, I have had a lot of fun playing that, and um, there was Ark at the time, only you could only do squares, square foundations, there was no triangle foundations, and I did a lot of builds on Conan Exiles with the circular shape, you know, where you do, which I'm about to do here, and I'll show you, um, but I'm sure everyone knows how to do this at this point. Uh, you place these down like that, and then... Um, you need to place square foundations down on those, and when you're building it out, it's it's basically a square foundation connects to a triangle foundation, and as it goes out, the triangle ones connect to the squares, and it, it just makes a circular shape. And I've had a lot of fun doing making builds where you build like a tower, so you build it like straight up, and then you can connect them with like a pathway off one of the sides, and they they usually turn out pretty good. They, they look nice. I like them. Uh, I didn't do enough triangle ones. I don't think I'm. I think I'm gonna go ahead and place this back over this way for now, just to give us something to sleep in. I'll. Uh, this will be kind of like our um, I guess temporary hut that we'll build here before before you know while we're building our main base. Because we're definitely going to need somewhere to hide out. I guess I'm going to put my dinos back that way. Might put some... Might put some foundations down over there. To keep the spawns from happening. Probably going to be a good idea. But, I have a saddle on this guy now. Which means he is essentially a smithy. But I don't need it. Because I brought one with me. We left everything back at the prior location uh, in the Highlands. So there's a smithy there, a forge, and a mortar and pestle. I'm not going to worry about um, lining everything up with a ladder on this. There's no, there's really no need. So I'm just going to kind of slap it down. Get some wood in this. Actually, I don't need the wood in there now. It's not really a dire need for that. So transfer tool. So. This is part of S+. Plus. You can transfer things from structures and dinosaurs and your personal inventory with just a click of a button. So like this, I'm sitting sourced to the RG. I click on the smithy. Everything that was in his inventory is now in here. They do have this guy, this little transfer tool, where you can select where you want it to come from, what items you want to transfer, and where you want it to go, and make presets. I use this a lot with like uh, crop plots and whatnot, so I can just hit a button and it generates like the list of every it'll go like large crop lot or whatever I'm using, all the vegetables and berries, and then I transport it or transfer it to a refrigerator. And that's just a quick way for me to harvest up all my crops, which I'll be doing later on. You'll see me do it a few times, I'm sure, because I do like to have a greenhouse with a ton of. I like to have all the vegetables, and then uh, it it one of all the berries, but I do a few more of the narcos. And it's just, you got to. Um, there's no, that's the only way you can get vegetables. I mean, you can get, like, salva root and stuff here, and then carrot, but up in the highlands, but you gotta grow it. Especially if you're on another map. 
it is a necessity. Um, I'm gonna eat some of these because I don't need them right now. And keep the fiber. We always need fiber. I have to have a ton of it, but I'm gonna need wood. Thatch and stone. Mainly stone. But I really need to get a Dodic and uh, an Anki soon. Um, the first ones I tame are not going to be high level. They're I'm going to tame them with vegetables. And that way it's quick and easy. Uh, I could go do a 150 and put the vegetables and if I tame them effectively this would still be good on the server. But... I'm not too worried about it. First one I find, unless it's like a, like a level 10 or something, I'm not going to touch it, but if the first one I find if it's a decent level, I'm taking it. And if, once people start watching these videos and commenting, if you feel I should change these rates, then uh, let me know. Unfortunately, by the time anyone starts watching these, I'll probably be doing boss fights at that time. It's probably going to be months down the road. I know it takes a while to get viewers. Which I'm not too worried about. I've been doing some taming instructional videos as well, uh, with the obviously with the hopes of trying to bring people in, and hopefully my series will uh, keep people, you know, if they're interested in it. But this is still new. I've only been doing this for two days now, and got a lot to make, and a, we have all the time in the world to do it. So I'll be doing this for a long time. Something I've wanted to do for a long time. I just never got around to it. And now that I am doing it, I'm actually having fun. It's actually helping me figure out uh, different things to do because I never really had a plan, have plans whenever I play the game. I just kind of go. But now that I've been making videos, I've actually think about goals, like what I want to accomplish today. Keeps things kind of structured. Did I hear something? Oh no. Sometimes when I your footsteps they sound like something else is around you. It freaks me out. It makes me all paranoid. But the AI in this game isn't good enough to sneak up on you, so I guess I shouldn't worry too much. Everything's just clumsy and kinda of silly. I really wish they would fix the AI too. It makes me real curious on what they're gonna do with the sequel if that's something they're even considering. I hope they are, but I know they're coming out with Genesis, and that's going to be two-part, and I'm, I really want to know what they're going to do after. I have theories. I don't know if I'll... I'll talk about them at a later date, but um, the story definitely intrigues me, and, th and that's one of the main reasons I want to be, you know, uh, get through this and, and, and beat the island and, and do it on my own. I've read the story, so I know what the story is, and I just want to experience it for myself because I think it's pretty cool. So we're going to get some more foundations. We got got to do it in uh, intervals of six because you started out with six. So we're going to build up 12 of these. I think we're at the point where we need to use three of the triangle foundations. I am encumbered like all hell so I need more health that just ain't gonna cut it and while those are building let's see if we can fix some of our screw ups from before we have a lot of things we still need to get so I'm just gonna go down the list here and pick things out that I need I'm gonna need crop plots God, they take so many points, too. Like, the greenhouse. That was what it was. Greenhouse doors. Like, each one of these is like 30. That's only 15 for the door. So, let me look here. Slanted roof. Yes. I, I have everything I need for the greenhouse. I, I pick so many of these. Like, I'm not going to use these. I need a mind wipe tonic is what I need. That is what I need. Let's see. Water jar. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go water jar. Alright, nine points. Is there anything we can get right now that we need? 100% need. Let's see, let's see, come on. I guess we'll wait. Let me look at saddles. 
I can't even get an inky saddle. Dodic. Nope. Alright. We're going to save those points because we're going to need them. And let me go ahead and put some stone in here. Wood. Just throw these resources back in here. Slap these foundations down. So, we'll put them on the square pieces. Just like that. And as you can see, the square is going to go here. And then, yeah, I did need three. So, the square piece will plug right in there. So I'm going to need one, three, four, five, six, so six more triangles. Now I would do the pull system. What? Where did I put that stuff? Oh, jeez, I'm blind. I would use the pull system, but when you're pulling into your inventory, it, it, sometimes it just won't do it. Because it says it's going to weigh too much. Even though... I don't care if it encumbers me if I'm pulling a bunch of resources to my inventory. I'm doing it because I want to build stuff. Uh, yeah, we'll do two. And then we gotta get some more stone and whatnot so we can build the rest. Now there's up there on that big mountaintop is this massive area where you can build. I just don't like building where it's hot because running around and constantly having heat stroke is just not fun. And blurred vision it gives you in the game is kind of frustrating. So definitely not something I enjoy. And I'm sure you guys would appreciate that too. Having to watch me stumble around with a blurry screen 20-30 minutes. I don't think you guys would like that very much. Let's, uh, let's clear out some of these bushes. I hate, I hate when things stick through the floor. Now, I don't know what DK timers I have set up, but I need to check after I log off because I know foundations by themselves will de decay relatively quickly. So, gotta watch out for that. I love freaking horses, they're awesome. I think they're fun. I keep hearing things. I'm losing my mind. Let's get some more stone, some more wood, build some more foundations, and maybe put up, put up walls, at least enough so nothing can walk in. And this is definitely not even close to how big I want it. I want it a lot bigger. A lot bigger. We want to have a breeding area, all sorts of stuff. Definitely not building. Functional building or whatever they call it. I'm not going to be building anything tiny. Just, you know, cramming everything in there. I am going to go big. What? What? What the hell? How about this one? Oh my god. Well, don't build over here. Because those will be sticking to the damn floor. This is stupid. so many problems. I know this was not the map that the developers made, but the maps that the developers did work on are still, still have a lot of bugs on them, too. I don't even want to go into meshing. Everyone knows that's a problem, but this game's been out for years, and hmm, there's so many problems that you would think would be, should have been fixed forever ago, but they weren't. And I have no clue why they haven't been. I hope I can chop this one up. Nope. This is so dumb. What the hell? Those are going to be here forever. We'll just have to deal with it. I'll build around them if I have to. Not as much stone as I thought. Let's see here. So I need four more of these. And... I think I need 18 of those. I'm going to go ahead and build up some walls for this little area that I'm on right now. But you know what? Honestly, I don't really care about the walls on that right now. And I don't care about the DK timer because no one's going to come around and demolish my stuff. So, 
One more. Dump that in there. Put these down. I'm gonna put it in my bar. So I think they're gonna. They would have to do a lot of changes with the engine. They use the Unreal Engine, I believe, and I don't. I don't think it was the right engine for what they wanted to do. And now they're just too far along. And see, I, I mean, there's so many guys, so many questions. Like, is the problem with? I mean, honestly, the problem is with the developers. I mean, they they made a good, th like they had a great idea. I think this game's still awesome, even though with all of its shortfalls, it's still fun. And I can't stop playing it. I think a lot of people feel the same way. But there's just something. Like, I don't understand why they haven't fixed a lot of things. And it makes me wonder if it's because they're impossible to fix based off the, you know, the framework that they have laid down for the game currently. Or if it's because they just don't want to. Maybe they don't have enough people. I have no idea. I don't know them. Maybe they're just lazy. Who knows? But I do know that there are problems, 100%, without a doubt, that are in this game that have existed for years that can be fixed, but they just haven't done it. Which is really frustrating. Especially if, you know, they have a product out and you really like it. So, anyway. Enough rambling. Let's, uh... Go ahead and put these last bit of walls up. This is where we where we are going to live. And on the next episode, when you guys come back, I'm going to have this built up a little bit more. And we're going to look at going to grab us a Dodic and an Anki. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.